A good father is someone you can totally rely on at every time to provide all your needs. Having a very reliable father in place means you have no need to worry about your cares since you have the assurance that he will be there to solve and resolve every situation for you. Matthew chapter 6 verse 9 states, After this manner therefore pray ye, our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, KJV. When Christians go before God having the knowledge and mentality that he is their father, it reduces their stress and tensions and also strengthens their faith. Sometimes, Christians fail to realize that they have the best, most reliable and most efficient father, who is God and hence they fret and worry about their lives and needs. Jesus was aware of the perception the people had about God as their father, so he said in Matthew chapter 7 verses 9 to 11, Or what man is there of you, whom if his son ask bread, will he give him a stone? Or if he ask a fish, will he give him a serpent? If ye then, being evil, know how to give good gifts unto your children, how much more shall your Father which is in heaven give good things to them that ask him? KJV. It is quite unfortunate that some Christians even trust their earthly fathers more than God. We should realize that our earthly fathers can only see what is physical, but God who is our heavenly Father sees and knows all things. He knows the end from the beginning and always knows what is best for us. The fact that he has not answered a particular prayer request does not mean that he hasn't heard our prayer or that he doesn't care about us. Because he loves us, he always does things in his own time and in his own way for our good. What we need to do as Christians is to trust God as our Father who knows what is best for us and who works things together for our good. Seeing God as our Father is a great sign of humility which God always honors. In Matthew chapter 23 verses 8 to 11 when Jesus was teaching about humility he said, But be not ye called rabbi, for one is your master, even Christ, and all ye are brethren. And call no man your father upon the earth, for one is your father, which is in heaven. Neither be ye called masters, for one is your master, even Christ. But he that is greatest among you shall be your servant, KJV. So how can we change our perspective and see God as our father? We can change our perspective by renewing our mind. We need to realize that God being a very good father is interested in every area of our lives and wants to play a key role in it. But he can't come uninvited, hence we should pray and invite God our Father to take charge of every area of our lives and also to lead and guide us in all that we do. In this way, our lives will be transformed and all our burdens will be taken away. We can rest secured knowing that God is in charge of our affairs. May God our Father bless us all in Jesus' name. Amen.